about that ting. Continued. Saturday at 6.15 p.m., Ota saw Iris and Renju together. They were leaving the Sunfish Pocket Building. Two and a half hours later, Ota witnessed Iris driving Renju's car. What are your thoughts? This is sounding really bad for Iris. But consider the current circumstances. Iris had her left eye taken out by a criminal who is possibly the new Cyclops killer. And if Ota had not reached her in time, she would have been killed. What is going on here? Date, Ota is acting strange. I advise caution. What do you mean? Would you like to take a guess? Hmm. Also lying or... Oh, or no, was body heats up. I would say Oda was acting strange. Let's x-ray and find out. <gasps> oh, oh, I see what's going on. How did you get I that see. here? I don't believe it. He's holding a knife. Why does he have that? That's a good question. That's a very good case, question. You know what you have to do now. Knock his ass out. I know. <laughs> Let me go! Let me go! What the hell do you think you're doing? Shut up! Just let me go! Sleeping gas. Now you've done it. I can't question him like this. But you can still get information inside his head. Uh, oh, somnium. Somnium time. Oh, shit. Here we go again. And we're still on the first branch, too. Police headquarters, Monday, 8.15 p.m. Date, as you know, the limit is six minutes. Please, do not go over it. Okay, Mom. Won't be a problem. But, are you sure this is okay? Ota just came out of surgery. If anything happens, I'll take responsibility. But... It's fine. Just get it done. Good enough for me. Yeah, that's the thing. He just got out of surgery. How did he get that knife? I guess the world will never know. Uh, yeah, back to the spot in which we have to choose the story's events. Maybe. I don't remember if this also has branches oh, or not. Oh, speaking of Metal Gear reference! Can you please take me with you? No, you're gonna go into the river. As long as I have Wi-Fi, I don't need anything else. Heh. <laughs> Sorry, we can't have pets. Hmm. And, cold and don't you, old man. And don't you dare ask for a USB stick. <laughs> I know what you're gonna do with those. George Warehouse? <laughs> Seems to be. Not a manga cafe? Taku shop? No, hmm. but a warehouse is a commonly used location in live-action dramas. You know a lot. Predicting this, I did some research on Ota's taste. This would definitely be a... By the way, like, are you smaller? Either that, or everything else is bigger. This would be a super... Se this would be a super sentai show if this was a huge gravel pit. I was just thinking about Kamen Rider 2. Hey, that's... Speaking of the villain of the week. Iris is about to be Stop right there! The heavens call Speaking of which the earth cries out! The crowds roar! All calling on me to strike back against evil! Hold on, Tessa! I will save you! He's not yeah. wearing spandex, this Sentai show suck! <laughs> At least he did a cool flip. 
And that's all the okay, couple okay. Uh, is this from the stream we saw earlier? This is Ota's memory of it. It appears to be a bit exaggerated. Alright, let's help reproduce the memory. Somnium scan! Activate! So I like the music that was playing for Oda. I just hate that it's playing for Oda. <laughs> that it has to play for him. It has to, and that's what sucks. Just like Oda. Singing in the song, singing in the swain. Relive Oda's memories. Reproduce the fiery battle between Oda and the polar bear. Save Iris, save the world. Curse you, polar bear. I will vanquish you. If I rush in, I'll slip on the ice and fall! Like this. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's Oda, alright. That's what you get for running like a Oh. Oh, like no, that's just... I'll have nothing to show for it! All of it amounts to nothing. Do. I don't know what that was exactly, but the knowledge you gained might be useful. I did not want to use my local storage space for this. Same. All right. <laughs> Look how small she is. So small. <laughs> so our options today are the icy floor over there yonder, the forklift, the frozen forklift, the ice cutting machine with Iris. And a heated insulation door right behind us. Let's, um, see, look at the frozen forklift first. All right, then. Forklift away. Ran so far away. Couldn't get away. Run, Iba, run. Everything's so giant. She's probably as small as, we'll see. she's run. probably as small as her real the life forklift. counterpart. Yeah, the actually. The is frozen to the floor. God damn, that's Whoa. a lot. Maybe we should try something uh, else. Sorte. Alrighty then. What? You have to adjust to Ota's fantasy. Ah, uh, I understand. All Wait, hold on, what? Green. Synchronization rate, 6%. Now, cargo handling car. Forklift. Sorty! Or sorty. No, you're right. What? It has two pronunciations. Nothing happened. Like the end fact, it's kind of embarrassing. So we waste and... a bunch of time for... There goes two minutes. Fuck! Um... <laughs> Never mind, it goes three minutes, basically. How about the... Let's see, what options do we have? We have other forklift. Ice cutting machine, iris, and heated insulation door. Oh yeah, and the floor too. But let's uh, take a look at iris. Good idea. It's a good thing we got at least a a time to put down anything down for one iris second. Iris is on the platform. Um, ears. Tessa's catchphrase. Yeah, if anything is gonna make her react, it's that. All right. Ears. Headset, pet, A set. No, not you. <laughs> this will probably not help oh. wake Iris. <laughs> oh well, we tried. Iris is on the platform. Uh, throw. No, wait, hold on. Yeah. Wake her up. Wake me oh. up. Iris, wake hey! me up. Are you, you okay? Can't wake up. Tessa. Oh. She's not waking up. Slap her! Oh wait, no, platform. you're too small to do so. Yeah. Throw ice at her. Let's do that. This is an ice cold one. Just throw it. Yeah. No good, huh? I believe that Ota has to be the hero of this story. God damn it. And he needs a little more motivation. 
How about the ice? The ice. You have three minutes, Dante. Oh, we have a lot more time than I thought we did. The ice on the floor is slick. That's uh. Oh, at least we've got timeies. Yeah. Uh, pu punch it. Punch it. This the floor. is for Dante. This is for Dante. This is for Dante. What? God damn, she did it. Whoa! Fight won't survive. Oh. I guess we do have a branching option here. Shit, now do we what do we do? That's a good question. Damn! He's too strong! It sucks! But this is war after all! <laughs> May the glory of victory be yours! It's over. I suppose we have no choice but to find the glory of victory. Alright, so now we have plate, plate, and plate. But wait, there's also plate and oil drum. Add it to the list of things that we already have. Hmm. Um, the ice cutting machine. I'll write it in. A machine used for cutting ice. <laughs> Let's give oh, him never some mind, motivation. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. Uh, how about the oil drum? Uh, Let's I'll do this. In. Let's do something. Let's do something dumb before we do. Yeah. An oil drum, though it is lying down. How about we roll in it? Roll, 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 wacky, roll, 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 yeah, roll, 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 what? Ten activator stand, limp biscuit. Actually, my favorite what? stand in part six. What about her stand? What about so Oh. Oh, what the hell? Uh, you bet. God damn it. You were saying? I was gonna say, what about Cell Stand from the Devil Artemis universe? Moisto Fista. Got right where we're going. <laughs> what is this? What? It's the sign for victory or whatever. Ah uh, yes, a polar bear's a natural weapon. No, I don't want to die. A knife. Must be his hunting knife. I eventually stopped thinking. Okay, cars. From JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part Two, start. <laughs> That's Tessa. I almost said Stardust Crusaders when I meant Battle Tendency. <laughs> Stand your ground. Matsushita cowers to no one! And we're on the second branch now. Hey, we did a thing! You sure did. I have to fight back with something! Alrighty then, we did a thing. Where to next? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, power board's been added to the list. And remote control. The... He, the heat insulated door. Alright. What? So tiny. The door. So tiny she can fit in a mason jar. Tackle. Breath tackle. Applying force will accomplish nothing. Do it four times. 
Two is enough. No, four. Two, two, four. Two is plenty. Please understand. What is this? The door. The door. What should we uh, do? Listen. Speak to us, door. Tell us your secrets. I hear the faint sound of waves. Strange, is it not? It is. The door. Would you like to try or move on? Let's move on. All right, then. where to next? As time. The plate. This one. Yes, that one. Plate. A plate attached to the shelf. The cold has frosted over it. What should we do? Hmm. Uh. Why? No, wait, breathe on. Oops. My hand slipped. Actually. Wouldn't it work better if you shouted a move name or something? I had an idea for one, but that trope seems to be less popular nowadays. I see. A plate attached to the shelf. Okay, that's right, Let's on breathe it. on it. <laughs> oh, it's doing something. Ha! D. D. It's D's nuts. Really it's nuts. <laughs> they have to be at least half. Got him. There is no end to your desire. Now I'm back to work. There seems to be nothing here. Not a damn thing. What about the remote? The remote control. You have less than two minutes. Hurry! A remote control. It fell when Oto ran into the shelf. Break. Break of the remote. <laughs> so stupid. Share sure work. Don't blame yourself. Yes. No, no. It has to be this way. I see. Saturn Metal Gear Rising Revenge is reference. Okay, let's uh, go to the control panel. Alrighty then. You know what I can't wait for is that near Automata anime. I can't wait to see how they do it. It appears oh yeah, and it's animated by Studio A1, while Genshin Impact is being animated by fucking u -Votable. Damn. Throw something! Throw something! This is an ice-cold one. You already used that one, Life. lady. Aim for the switch. Position target in the center and hit the switch. Position target ah, in the center and hit the switch. Oh, damn, it actually worked. Now it will move! I... I can't stand. I'm weak! Damn it, Ota. You need to eat... Did you need really to eat more Iron like Man. That? Regardless of the truth, right now, I am Ota's last hope. I have to help him up! Sadly, yes. This is annoying. All you right. see, this is what happens when you don't eat enough iron. <laughs> Alright, is there anything new? Oh, I guess Oda is interactable. Yeah, let's try Oda now. Don't worry, Oda. I'm coming to help, I, I guess. Hurry. Shut we up, know, Peter. we know. Shut up, shut up, Oda Peter. looks frightened. He cannot stand. And he pissed himself. What the fuck? Oh, um, let's see, uh, let's, uh, encourage him, maybe? You're so cool, my shiny, glittery Ota. So cool. The ghost inside me whispered. Yeah, I am cool, huh? God damn it. Hmm. From now on, this is my stage. I don't know. But I don't think any of the choices would have mattered. I'll find out later. Maybe this! Hey! 
fair. Get hooked on the- Oh! Oh, shit! You know, Sonic Tails, we I think we just killed the man. Probably won't be into, uh... Into that one hit Nintendo game with the squids. Squig! I know, right? That's the first thing that popped in my head. Splatoon. That's the name. That's what I was trying to think of. Close enough. Dante, you've hit the limit. Time's up. Wait. I can almost make out their face. Pewter, force Let's take it down. off. No, Stop. wait. Stop wait. it. No. <laughs> Idiot. Oh. Shame that belt buckle couldn't protect. Oh, oh. Sure brought a spoon to the knife fight, kid. Oh no! Ota's been yamcha Again. For the first time. If this happens more when we encourage Oda, we should encourage him a lot. <laughs> Day four. Monday. Monday. Seo guy. Don't know if I pronounced that right. What were you thinking? You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes. Any longer and you risk getting your mind completely taken over by the subject. I know. No, you clearly don't. This isn't just about you, Date. If your consciousness erodes inside of Somnium, you put the subject in danger as well. If I may? Fortunately, there were no abnormalities detected in the brainwaves after the sink. Date and Ota both read normal. Although, the timing was really close. What was I supposed to do? You saw it, boss. You too, Pewter. I was about to see the culprit's face. Not necessarily. We need to verify that Ota did, in fact, see the culprit's face. That's the only way it could have ended up in his Somnium. Well, Ota? Huh? You saw the killer's face at the warehouse, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't see their face. If I did, I would have told you guys already. You see? I mean, I did try to get a look at them when the polar bear fell over. They looked like they were knocked out, so I tried to grab the head part. But as soon as I did, I got oh, stabbed in my that's gut. an odd-looking knife. A very specific-looking knife. That is what we witnessed in his Somnium. Yeah. Alrighty then. Okay. Exploration time. What's that? CTR monitor. CRT monitor. Date, look. That haunted girl is crawling out of the well. Well, why not give knife hunting a whirl? Are you glitching out or something? Yeah, I don't know where she was going with that. No, I just have to wait seven days for that to happen. A CRT monitor. It's completely safe. Speaking of monitors, on and off. The door. It's a door that leads to the sink room. Ah, a binder. It's a binder. A sink room binder. A sink machine. You can see the sink machine through the window. Yep. Steel shelf. I opened it up. Yep. It's stuff with mysterious stuff. mushrooms. Hmm. That's shelf. some odd marketing for the Mario movie. Yes. Free mushrooms. And nothing else. There we go. I wish I could climb up on that table and fly around the world on it with Tessa. What kind of fantasy is that? Alright, Aladdin. 
we need a carpet for that. And Robin Williams. Yeah. You're only gonna get one of those things. A locker. Locker. I'm watching you. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Forever and ever. Hey. Did you hear something just now? I did not. Perhaps you're imagining it. Must be the not drugs. She probably I takes think we up. actually ate one of those mushrooms. Or maybe we need more mushrooms. Only one way to find out. Well, I think that's. Oh, wait. Chair. Chair. Chew water. Chew water. Chirth. Chafider. Er, Chafire. Chupacabra. Chair. Alright, so. Anyway. We got Oda. Wait, what about Pewter? Let's try to sit on the chair. The Pewter. Pewter is calm, as usual. My brainwaves and Oda. About my brainwaves. My brainwaves. It's alright. As I mentioned earlier, both your brainwaves are normal. However, I'm sure there was some overload. You should go home and get some rest. Don't tell me what to do. You're not a doctor. You don't even have a PhD. How'd you get in here? Boss looks more upset than angry right now. Offer a genuine She's apology. not angry, she's just disappointed. Very disappointed. Offer a genuine apology. Okay, Mom. I know it was dangerous to sink past the time limit. That was my fault, and I'm sorry. Are you really sorry? No. Yes. Then you owe me some Dom P at my favorite club in Kabuki Cho. Fuck. Or oh. <laughs> you can lick my shoes. Either oh. or. Oh. I vow to never apologize for anything ever <laughs> again. Because honestly, where does it even get you? Nowhere. That's where, I'll tell you. <laughs> Yeah, we're yeah, we're no bootlicker here in both sense of the word. All right. Oh, it looks tired. Dude. Anyway, what did you why do you have that knife? Why do you have that knife? Because I was scared. Scared. The killer could come here to finish the job. But you didn't get a good look at their face, right? But they don't know that. I had it prepared just in case. You know why is the hospital about. even let hey, you Dante, carry weapons like preparing that? Preparing in advance in case you might need it. How the hell did you even do that? Like making sure your room is nice and clean before you go to a party. Oh, sorry. You probably don't have any experience with that. I have more experience than you. Facts. Actually. Actually facts. Anyway, the hook and the polar bear's legs. Oh, it's a... Let me ask you something. When you were fighting the polar bear back at the warehouse, did the crane hook get stuck on the polar bear's leg? Now that you mention it, maybe it did. Maybe? It's like I told you, I don't really remember much. With all the tension and excitement and fear and adrenaline, my mind just went blank. But now that we're talking about it, I remember. Yeah, no doubt about it. The crane hook got stuck on the polar bear's left leg. And then, when the hook got pulled out, blood sprayed all over. Date, I checked all of the hospitals in the metropolitan area. None have a record of a patient admitted after 3 a.m. with a wound to the left leg. If what I saw in Somnium is how it happened in real life, that was a deep wound. He definitely would have needed first aid. Perhaps a friend or accomplice helped them. You think there are multiple killers? That is not what I said. They may have helped the culprit, but not necessarily been involved in the crimes. Hmm. Go ahead. I wasn't saying anything. Oh, no, we can read this. I relayed the information to Boss and Pewter. So we know that the culprit has a deep wound on their left leg. All right. That information could be crucial in catching them. Date, get out there. 
Look for people with an injured left leg. How exactly? Can't you just go ask around or something? Are you serious? Do you know how many people live in this city? Uh oh. Oh no, what? it's kicking in. It's kicking in. Date, what is the matter? And you having more mushrooms wouldn't matter. <laughs> Date! Are you all right? <laughs> Gonna go on a limb and say nah. Uh, well, you may want to perform CPR. Oh, wait, no, she doesn't have lungs. Damn it. Day five, Tuesday. Say oh, shit, eye. what are we gonna do now? Hang out at the Date residence on Tuesday at 8.02 a.m. That's what we're gonna do. Oh god, it's a gremlin. Not again. <laughs> oh, it's a <laughs> gremlin. Hey, this is... Oh, you're alive. Suki? Wait, this isn't Skyrim. What happened? You drank too much at the club and passed out. Liar. Classic Dante. I remember everything until I <laughs> collapsed in the control room. You did something dangerous during the sink last night, didn't you? Your brain got overloaded and you passed out. That's what Pewter and Boss said. You met them? They brought you over. They said to let you sleep it off because you were tired from the investigation. Well, All right, time to look around again. Large window. A big window. Bench press. Bench press. How much can you press on the bench? Armchair. Uh, last I checked, around 200. You're getting close to uh, Mizuki strength, then. <laughs> Just a little bit. Computer. A PC. Oh, yeah. So, you remember when you brought out Amelie earlier in the, in the session? Yeah. So, apparently, she didn't. You probably, you probably saw the clip, but apparently, she didn't know you're supposed to clean your PCs. Wait, she didn't? Yeah! She bought a brand new PC a long time ago, and it just collected dust internally, and she's like, I didn't know you were supposed to clean it! I don't even have a PC like that, like just a laptop, but still, you just gotta clean that, Amelie. Uh, and that's why I have an air duster. Also, don't use a vacuum cleaner. There's a cork part. Why did she use that? No, but that would've been fucking funny if she did. Cause I, I Google it out of curiosity talking to like somebody else at work and apparently, you know, the static electricity might fuck up your motherboard or some shit. From using the vacuum. Ah, okay. Speakers themselves are actually mostly hollow. Which, you know what? It makes sense. Was there anything? Is there anything else there? Wait, what about the plushie? The plushie! Chair. Oh, chair. It's chair next to the desk. It's not a rabbit. A stuffed rabbit. I gave it to Mizuki on her birthday. Bed. It's Mizuki's bed. Carpet. Rug. A little table. Coffee table. Tops of glass. Just like that one character. Good old Kazami. the entrance. Refrigerator. My refrigerator. Oh, it hood. Doesn't know it hood. Frying pan. Frying pan. Condiments. Seasonings and cooking sake. Sake? 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 Pot. It's a pot. Kitchen. Towel. Anything else? Ah, oh, I can't even interact with that anymore. Aw, oh, dang. Well, that should be well, everything. Mizuki is sitting on the edge of the bed. Anyway, where's Oda? He probably went back to the hospital. Boss told Mizuki about Ota being synced. And about what happened at the cold storage warehouse. Might as well Why reveal your existence, Iba. 
Mizuki was asking about the status of the investigation. The girl has lost both her parents. I am sure Boss felt that she deserved to know. What did Boss and Pewter say? Oh, Date's brain is rotting away. He won't last long now. You should probably prepare for a funeral soon. So they told you I'm completely fine, huh? Damn. Hmm. I detect no noticeable damage to your brain. You should not have any issue continuing the investigation. All right. Well, <laughs> don't you have school, young lady? I'm off today. Why? Today is Tuesday. You should have school. You really can be an insensitive jerk, can't you? Taking the day off for morning. Oh yeah, both your parents are dead. Oh right. Both of them. Matter She's of fact, an orphan now. We just saw the other one just the other day, hanging around. I see. Well, time to get back to the old investigation. Hey, will you take me with you? I told you yesterday, Mizuki. I won't put you in danger like that. But you're close to catching the culprit, right? The killer has an injury on their left leg. Boss said you need to find them. Let me help you. No, you stay here. Date, don't you know how I feel? My parents are dead. I saw their bodies with my own eyes. If okay, I don't Batman. Do something, I'm going to go crazy. Or you could dress Dante, like a bat, Mizuki. Please. Well, Mizuki is crying. <laughs> Date, consider Mizuki's feelings. She is lonely. Mizuki has not been with Renju and Shoko for four years. Plus, her friends are in the hospital. Both of them. But clearly, she still feels a bond to them. A bond that was broken by the murderer. With her parents gone, Mizuki has almost no one. She can only depend on one person now. You know to whom I am referring. Mizuki, that you'll well, take her with you. Only thing we left. Fine, let's go. You're gonna take me? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Date. You gotta grab the towel from the sink and toss it at Mizuki. Here, wipe your tears. We're heading out. Mizuki quickly dabbed her eyes with a towel and smiled weakly. Date, I must admit, I am at a disadvantage. The clue that the culprit is injured on their left leg does not help me narrow down suspects significantly. We need to revisit the scene. It's possible that we might find the culprit at one of the crime scenes. Or ask around the city for further information. Alrighty then. So, where do you think we should go Oh, first? okay, that's... <laughs> that's a lot. Um, hmm, how about if we go to... Let's go to where it all started. Ah, uh, yes. Marvel, baby! Okay, yeah, we'll park. I mean, if you want to get real technical about it... It all starts at Marvel. <laughs> Bloom Park, Tuesday. I remember telling you before that Bloom Park is an important part of my memories. Before it shut down, I came here a lot with Daddy and Mom. They fought a lot, but sometimes they got along. Whenever we were here, it was one of those sometimes days. I remember it clearly. I was just a little girl, but it was so rare to see them laughing together. That's why I remember it so well. I, 
I remember riding the merry-go-round like this. Mom was standing right next to me. She was holding me, so I wouldn't fall. Let's see, column. Okay, last Friday I found Mizuki inside the central column. Horse. Horse. There we go, round horse. Fence. Around the merry-go-round. Control room. It's a control, control room. This is where staff would run the merry-go-round. Barrier. Why is that barrier still there? Oh. It's holographic. The holographic caution tape of a barrier. Roof of the merry-go-round. There's a hole in it now from all the years of weathering. Weathering with you. In the sky. The sky is dark and depressing. Just like weathering with you. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. I've never seen it. Skewered horse. A merry-go-round horse. Skewered upside down. It looks pathetic. Oh. Cityscape. Kawasaki District buildings in the distance. Everything we're I think we got everything. Yep. Alright, Mizuki. Mizuki is riding the merry-go-round horse. Uh, did you go on any other rides? I couldn't get on many of them because I was so little. Sure. But I did ride the Ferris wheel. And the panda ride. They're kind of tame now, but at the time they were really fun. I was having so much fun, it felt wrong. Like it was too good to be true. Damn. How come, or have you come here with friends before? Other than last Friday? Nope, I haven't. This place has been off limits for almost a decade. Even if it wasn't, I don't think I would want to come back here. Why is that? How can I explain it? I guess I just wanted to keep that memory beautiful. I didn't want to ruin it or replace it with another. But in the end, it was replaced with the worst memory possible. Where was Renju when you were on the horse? Daddy was on the outside taking pictures of me and mom. He was on the other side of the fence with an old camera. Every time we passed in front of him, Mom and I would wave our hands. <laughs> we sound like a happy family, huh? He must have gotten good pictures. No, actually. We tried developing them at the park, but they came out all blurry and out of focus. But Mom wasn't mad or upset or anything. She just started laughing. That might have been the first and last time the three of us laughed out loud together. They were a happy family until they weren't. <laughs> I was gonna That's say. When the photo goes all photo negative. <laughs> I didn't say anything as Mizuki climbed down from the horse. Then she asked me something strange. Hey, Date. How do you define family? Define it? You mean like being blood related? That would mean you and I could never be family. Well, I guess that's okay. It's okay? This is okay. what I think. A family is... a perfectly ordinary relationship in the most ordinary way. Huh? Like, you say, I'm home, and you get a welcome home back. Doing those ordinary things automatically, without even thinking about it, is what a family is. That's why maybe me and mom and daddy weren't able to be a family. Our whole lives, we never could be ordinary. Even if I tried my hardest to be normal, it would just be awkward. Eventually, I got tired of trying. 
I killed them. What? I killed mom and daddy. Oh no. No, no, no. The, uh, Mizuki, go. Uh, Hugger, oh. please, please. Mizuki's eyes are wet with tears. I. I was never a good girl. I didn't listen to mom. I couldn't do ordinary things. That's why mom hit me. And why mom and daddy didn't get along. And why they got divorced. Then mom had to start working. And start doing business with dangerous people. If I was just a good girl, mom wouldn't have been killed. This, all of this, is all my fault. Uh. Why me? Hey, haven't you had enough? Why me? No, I'm not married, so take this with a grain of salt, but it's not just you, right? Doesn't every family have a tough time raising children? Our child is abnormal! Abnormal? Ever since she was a baby, oh, no. no child should cry at night as much as she did. No child should dislike buggy rides that much. No child should ask to be picked up and hugged all the time. She's still abnormal even now. Other children would have learned to clean up after themselves by now. They would be studying, going to bed on time, waking up on time. Yet why is my little girl... She sounds like a normal kid to me. Maybe the problem isn't with Mizuki. Maybe it's you. I'm doing more than anyone! Our child is stupid, brain-dead, abnormal! Date, honey, you Jeez. can't work her up like that! Oh shit. Oh, flashback time. It's a menu. It's a menu. It has writing on the back. It has writing on the back. Special the written on the chalkboard. The poster on the wall. Okay, I don't think we're going to get anything from these background stuff. Might as well try. Sure, same. Okay. Oh. Let's get in the glass. Bear tap. Bottles of alcohol on the shelf. TV on the wall. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna get anything for this because it's a flashback. Mm. So fun. Yep. Cabell. Stool. Well, let's see what Mama has to say. Mama's polishing the bonito as usual. Hey, you should scold her. Hey, Shoko. No, no. No, no, no. There, I scolded her. Great job, Mama. 10 out of 10. Oh, well. Uh, what do you think? I think she's loaded. Let her get this off her chest. Uh, I'll take a drink. You sure it. you aren't drinking too much, honey? If you pass out, there's no way I can control her. Well, that sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. Shogo's drunk. Uh, where's Mizuki now? Sleeping at home. Not knowing that her mother is crying her eyes out because of her. Because of her or because of you? Ever think about that? Anyway, uh, what's the rest of your story? Oh, thinking is overrated. I quit my job for that girl. I threw away the career that I built with my own hands. I raised my child at the expense of my own life. But one little slap. Are you hitting your kid? There's nothing I can do. I have no choice. I know you should never raise your hand to a child. I know that, I know that, but I have a good reason. She doesn't listen to me, so what else am I supposed to do? What the hell do you mean, what am I supposed to do? That's no reason to hit a child. So Bring her to therapy, maybe? Crying, and it's so 
irritating that I have to hit her again to get her to stop. And Mizuki cries and cries some more. Why are you crying? If you're going to cry, why didn't you just listen to me in the first place? Then I wouldn't have to hit you. Stupid Mizuki. Stupid girl. It's not my fault. Everything is her fault. Have you talked to Renju about this? I'm trying. I'm trying harder than anyone. Why doesn't anyone see that? Why doesn't anyone understand? <laughs> Date. Yeah, I'll talk to Renju about this. Oh. Yep. Well, I guess we're advancing the plot. It was my misunderstanding. What do you mean? I thought that mothers love their children unconditionally. But some mothers just can't do that. Well, no. Maybe she does love her. But she has a hard time of it. I'm sure she does. Shoko was never hugged by her mother. Not because her mother wasn't around. She was raised to never develop a sensitivity to affection. No hugs, no piggyback rides, nothing. Maybe that's why she doesn't know how to love Mizuki. When an animal raised in captivity gives birth, sometimes it just doesn't know how to raise its young. It's just like that. Oh. I guess it's just the same where it's not a whole lot of thing. Mama's still polishing that bonito, I see. What time do you close tonight? When you two are done talking, that's when I'll close up. Sorry about this. Did you lose weight? I'm not going to let you set up a joke. Listen to Ren's story. Damn, she's got us. And uh, what do you think? Why are you asking me about raising a child, hmm? Yeah, good point. Really? You're not even going to say, Oh no, Mama, you'd be a great mother. <laughs> oh yeah, I never hit the refrigerator. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna have anything in the background here. Renju. Renju is tilting his glass. Well, there's only one choice. Yep. But that doesn't mean she's blameless in all this. Someone has to put a stop to it. If I could have, I would have done it a long time ago. What about counseling? I did recommend that. She told me, I'm not sick. Why should I go see a doctor? Mizuki is the problem. Mizuki is the sick one. Uh -huh. Well, that answers my question about therapy. At least she tried, no, I guess. Mizuki would never leave Shoko. She wouldn't hear of it. Mizuki and Shoko are practically attached at the hip. Even with all of the hitting? Yes. Even if she's abused on a daily basis, even if she's treated like garbage... Maybe. Mizuki is hungry for love. She craves praise and attention and physical affection. She wants it from her mother. That's why she's so attached. Can you step in? Can you step in and take oh, take away parenting? I have a company now, Lemniscate. We're at a crucial stage of development. I can't take even a single second out of my day to deal with a kid. Hey. That's your daughter you're talking about. Maybe because you two can't cooperate on raising a child, Shoko is having trouble coping. That might be it. Maybe this is partially my fault. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna say it. You two are both awful parents. See, someone gets it. They sure do. Someone gets it. I knew about the whole thing. That's why four years ago, I decided to start taking care of Mizuki. Oh, Mizuki, right, right. you did nothing wrong. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. Not one single thing was your fault. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> All right then. Let's move on to well. the next place, I guess. Kumi Shrine, Tuesday. Huh? Why are we at the shrine? Did you come here to pray that you find the criminal? No, I don't believe in God. Wow, how edgy teen of you. Don't call me a teen. You're 12. Well, you said that you got the shoulders of a 40-year-old. That's not even remotely similar. So why are we it's really like 37. I sometimes come here when an investigation stalls. It helps me think. Sometimes I even solve the case from here. This is a quiet, peaceful little spot in the middle of a violent city. It's calming. It keeps all of the bad thoughts away. Didn't expect you to be such a poet. You could at least call me a romantic. Same thing. They're not at all the same thing. It's the difference between someone who's frugal and someone who's cheap. You're stubborn about weirdly specific things. All right. And on that bittersweet note, we're gonna stop right here. So, uh, bye-bye, yep. everyone. See you in the next one.